Okay, I'm gonna do a little cooking show, making one of my favorite things of all time. These are corn tortillas you get at the uh, store in a pack, they're raw. And uh, I'm gonna grab a stack out of those. Okay, now I'm cut my tortillas into little quarters so to make little chips. And I, I guarantee once you try this, you're never gonna buy chips in a bag again. And you want to get this on medium high. I've got that on seven out of uh, nine. If you want, you want that pretty hot, you just throw those in there like that. Spread them out. And the more you do this, the better you get at it. And you want to kind of rotate them from the first end to the last end. And uh, I've got back here some uh, toilet paper. We're out of paper towels. Toilet paper is very absorbent. So you throw them in there and just wait for them to start getting a little bit golden brown around the edges. And what I do is I keep some in my left hand. Not quite golden yet. And pack them in there and try to rotate them. Just keep more going in. And after they start cooking, they're going to come out and go in really fast. So you got to kind of keep, keep on these. Turn that up just a little bit more, turn it up to eight. I want them to cook pretty quick. As soon as they start getting golden and puffing up like that, you flip them over. Flip them over, flip them over, flip them over. Flip, flip, flip. And then what I do is the last one that I put in is the last one flipped over. And then I take the first one that I flipped over, which is going to be burnt first, and put that on the last one I flipped over, stack them up so they're already starting to drain, and then I start throwing more in there while I'm stacking these so that they're kind of constantly rotated. Then you grab those and stack like that, keep throwing more in. So I'm kind of shaking the oil out of those as I'm going. Put that over there, those will drain out very quickly. Flip those over, get nice and golden. That one's not I quite very good. Cooking at least 80 to 100 of these every time you make them, because if you make less than 80, it, uh, they don't last very long. It's kind of a waste of time heating the pan up if you don't have at least 80. And you can you can eat about 40 or 50 of them pretty quick, at least I can. And I eat about 80 a day anyways. And, uh, they're, they're really good. I, you can sprinkle sugar on these and eat them as like a dessert even. And once you try these, you are never going to buy chips in a bag again, ever. It's done, so we switch our pan off there. Stack, stack, stack. They start to smoke a little, you know they're done. That's a little joke we use around here. Hey, when you smell smoke, dinner's ready. So there you go. Those are nice and crispy. All done. Move that pan off of there so it doesn't keep smoking. And let me turn the, I uh, should turn the fan on, but I didn't want the fan running while I was trying to talk over that. So we'll turn the fan on now. There you go. There's all your chips. There. take the nice warm chips I set my toaster oven pan on there spread these out on some foil in my toaster oven pan just like that spread them all over these are still warm mm, yeah they're so good I can, you can just eat them plain like that take some refried beans and just put a little speck of beans on each chip if you don't have any don't eat it or if you don't like beans don't use it put a little bit of beans on every chip there excuse my fingers take some coarse gravy cheddar cheese or jack or whatever kind of cheese you like don't let me influence you I'm a bad influence 
course these are fried in canola oil so it's not really as bad as it looks but you can use lard or vegetable oil. Ooh, lard would probably be even better than canola oil. You sprinkle a little cheese around on a minute or two in the um, broiler and the toaster oven and voila! And then what I do is I take my sour cream and I put it in a freezer bag like this and just nip the corner off and you can squirt your sour cream very easily like that. And I just take some of this canned salsa here, dice up some fresh jalapeno, put that in there. You can put a little lime juice and a little uh, fresh onion in there and you're good to go. And those are going to be the best nachos you ever had. Salsa on top of there. My girlfriend, oh no, I don't want any. I'm good. And as soon as I get them out, she'll eat half of them. She always does. Mm. Might have to make another pan of these. And there you go. World's best nachos. And don't pick that pan up like I did before and burn your fingers. Mmm, nachos de la Jake. Now for a testimonial. Who makes the best nachos in the whole world? You do. Yes, I do.